Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about customizing transitions and saving user-defined presets so that you can reuse the same transition over and over again in the future after you have the settings that you like. So over in the effects library, if you look in video transitions, you have all of the defaults that DaVinci Resolve 15 provides. Separated into different categories, Dissolve, Iris, Motion, Shape, and Wipe. Now, in most cases, these will give you a good starting point to work with for your transitions, but you may want to customize them a little bit. And you may decide that after customizing it, you really like the transition that you've ended up with and you want to save it for later. So let's walk through an example here really quick. So I'm going to take this hexagon iris transition and put it over the border between the two clips and the video timeline. If we play it back with its defaults, it'll look something like this. So nice and simple, but we very likely decide we want to go ahead and make some changes. So to edit any transition, we click on the white box representing that transition in the timeline. So this would be where we put it on the border between the two clips. When we click on that, we see settings in the inspector, top right hand corner, specific to that transition. So we can see hexagon iris has a bunch of modifiable options here. So let's say, for instance, while we like this transition, we find that the edge here is far too sharp. So we can add a feather on here in order to make the edges blur out. But you can't see that feather until we actually add in a border. So I'm going to make this a 200 pixels border. And suddenly you can see that the outer image and the inner image blur together and kind of fade into one another. If we play it back now, it'll look something like this, which is nice. But then we can also let's say add in an ease curve so easing in and easing out means it's going to transition fastest in the middle and slower on the outside as it eases into its full speed so let's play it back now and overall i'd say that looks quite a bit nicer than the default hexagon iris transition so with these presets you probably don't want to have to remember every single time that you need 200 pixels border feather and ease in and out. So what you can do to save this transition for later is to right click on it once again on the timeline and do create transition preset. When you do that, it's going to pop up a enter preset name dialog. So you could call this whatever you want. I'm going to go with the name that I think is pretty descriptive. So I'll call this hexagon iris with a feather border and easing. And I'll hit OK here. So that's going to take our settings that we set up there and save it as a preset. So over in video transitions, I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom. And at the bottom now, there'll be a new category called user. You can see the name of the preset we created there, hexagon iris with feather border easing. And now anytime we want to apply that same effect with the preset settings that we created previously, we just have to add it onto the timeline. So I'm going to take the preset effect and drop it on the border between my two clips here. And now when we go ahead and play it back, it should have the same presets we saved before. So as you can see, that is the case. And we can confirm that by left clicking on it. And you'll see in the hexagon iris presets that it has the 200 pixel border feather and ease in and out. So that's the basic idea of how you create and reuse presets for video transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my future video content.